Hey guys, I'm Max, and on this channel I will be doing all sorts of tech reviews, and in today's video I'll be reviewing and telling you guys what I think about the Kmart $39 professional, professional gaming microphone. This mic I've seen on YouTube, and I've seen a lot of people review it, but I was really confused because a lot of the videos, like pretty much each one had different audio. I'm gonna be testing this and seeing if it's actually any good. At first, I didn't know how to open the box, so my only solution was to rip it. Opening the box, you can see that there are a lot of things, which is great. First off, it comes with a pop filter, which basically reduces any sounds like a per, per, or a s. It doesn't feel cheap whatsoever, and the fabric material feels pretty good. Next is a 2 meter audio cable, which you can connect from the mic into a USB port on your laptop. After that, there's a mic cover, which pretty much reduces the sound from wind. Then there's the housing where the mic will be placed on the tripod. Now there is the adjustable table mount, which is how the boom mic stand will be held up and is pretty much the base of everything. Along with that is of course the boom mic stand. And after feeling it and bending it, it feels pretty strong. And I can tell that this will last a while. Next is a manual which tells us how to set up the whole thing and how to connect to your laptop so you can record your audio. And then finally the mic. It looks sick. It has an old school look to it and it's pretty solid. It does have some weight to it which is promising. And then on the bottom is where the cable will be connected. Now it's time to build the entire thing. Any other laptops that don't have USB ports, such as newer Mac models, you will have to buy a USB to USB-C adapter, which will be linked down below if you need that. But for any other computers that don't need that adapter, you can just skip past that step entirely and plug it straight into your computer. You have to go into settings and then sound and then wait for the name of the microphone to pop up and then click on that and then you should be all good. Okay, so this is what the microphone sounds like, and I'm not sure how it sounds right now, but hopefully it sounds good. First off, there is one thing that I don't- it's not really a big problem for me, but it might be for other people that you can't plug in headphones and then listen to how the audio is on the microphone, so you could record an entire video and then when you get into editing, it could sound like you're in a pool. I'm not saying it's gonna happen, but it's something that would be- better to have in this microphone, but for me it's not that much of a problem. First impressions, it looks really good, everything is really well made, um, the microphone feels fine, everything feels fine, and I think it's a great setup. Another thing that I wanted to add is I'm not sure if it's compatible with any consoles like a Playstation or Xbox, it's just I've seen other people comment that on other people's videos about this microphone, and uh, I just wanted to clarify that. Now what we've all been waiting for should you go and buy this microphone or is it just a waste of money and i 100 percent believe that you should i'm not being biased or anything but the mic quality is actually really surprising for the price that this is at and in general it's a great setup for anyone wanting to begin making youtube videos or just any videos in general 
that's it for this microphone, and I think Kmart has done a really good job. Um, I can't wait to see what they bring out next, and if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to comment down below, and see you guys in the next video.